Um, and so I had the opportunity of visiting the Festival of the Arts this weekend. Uh, tell me what's new that people might have not seen last year. Well, we have over 15 food studios that are here this year. We introduced a new one called Barbante Bebito, um, and that's a Latin inspired cuisine. Um, one of my favorite items that we have there is their seafood cocktail, so I highly re recommend that one. Um, we have over 100 artists, uh, Disney and non-Disney -art, non artists that are participating as well. Um, and so there's lots of things to see in terms of product merchandise offerings. It's also our fifth anniversary. So you're gonna see a lot of product that nods to that and you can be able to share with your family that you were here for our anniversary this year. Anything specifically new uh, that I wouldn't have seen last year? Well, one of the things that I think that's gonna be really neat is um, at the American Gardens Theater, presents um, the Disney Songbook. And so our Voices of Liberty group will be singing some of your favorite Disney songs there. And they're always a favorite. At a time where uh, we are begging for live music, that's a perfect place to go. So, um, and Kartika, can you tell me about some of, a lot of things that attract people to the festival, the arts, the hands-on things that they can do, like the paint the wall or the animation studios. I remember drawing a character last, character last year. Um, can, do you guys still offer the hands-on experiences despite everything that we're going through right now? Absolutely, we put in pretty safe protocols to allow folks to still be able to experience the fullest of the festival. So the paint by number mural is still there. We like to call it our larger than life paint by mural. And that is an opportunity for guests to come in and be a part of the artistic activities that are happening here at Epcot. And if they're a little bit more adventurous, they can also try creating their own characters um, and learn how to draw some of the basic Disney characters as well. And that's all a little bit more spread out this year, right? Absolutely. Um, any uh, tips on what that final mural is gonna be on the paint by numbers fall? <laughs> now that would be spoiling the fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know, but I really wanna know. <laughs> all right, I had to ask about that one. Um, can you talk about the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine? You know, guests get to try five foods and then get a free treat. We actually did this and forgot our free cookie at the end. Um, oh, no. Uh, I know. So you... talk, talk about that walk for us. Yeah, so uh, that's um, one of the new um, items that we introduced as well. So it's a really nice way to try different offerings. Um, and so you have five locations that you can visit and you can denote what items you should purchase. They actually have, and I'll call it a little cross, they will have a paintbrush and actually a fork. And so you'll know those are the items. When you visit each stop, you'll actually get a little stamp. And at the end of that, you can go to Declan Delights and receive an artist cookie. That's really fun. And you can do that at your own leisure. You can do it all in one day if you like. I personally like to pace myself. You can come back other times and still retrieve. So you can still come back and get that cookie. Good, yeah, it was test track or cookie and I totally chose test track. So <laughs> I, that means I gotta come back. Um, how do you guys choose the five foods? Is it new foods that we've never seen before? Uh, new desserts that we've never seen before? Like, how did you get to choose? Like, why these five? Yeah, this is usually a combination. Some things are our favorites that our guests like, and some things we need to introduce just to try something different. So it's usually a combination of both. And tell me personally, do you have a favorite food item or something that people should not miss at this Festival of the Arts? Um, and so I'm still actually making my rounds. Um, and so there's a tomato soup that's very good. Um, and that's a classic. And actually the seafood um, cocktail is one of my favorites, but I haven't ate everything and I'm making my rounds right now as we speak. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so great. Um, and tell me about what makes the Festival of the Arts different than other festivals when it comes to seeing the artists in action. Yeah, I think the nice thing about the art festival that it is really a combination of visual, culinary, and performance arts, all located in one area here at Epcot. And so you get to see it from a visual aspect, tasting, just the whole experience. Um, and so whatever people like from family perspective, if you have family members or friends that like more of the performing arts, we have a little bit of that. If you're more creative or artistic and you like to draw, you have an opportunity to do that. If you just like to eat and experience the culinary, you have an opportunity. And so very few places you can come to get all of that collectively as a group and experience it together. I love that. Um, now we're going to move into the transformation of Epcot and what sure. we expect uh, coming soon. Um, what can you tell us about the historic transformation though? When you think about what Epcot will look like, what first comes to your mind? Well, I think the thing that comes to mind, and, and I love how we at Disney looked at the process. And so when you think about the transformation here at Epcot, it definitely infuses some of the Disney touches that our guests have loved across all four parks. 
but we continue to enhance what our current offerings are, which also focuses on keeping Epcot uniquely Epcot. So it's kind of the best of both worlds when you think about it. And I think an example of that will obviously be our Festival of Arts that we just talked a little bit about, which is phenomenal. And we also debuted three new films. So if you think about it, Beauty and Abuse, Sing Along, that's over in France. You have the Canada Far and Wide film that's in Canada. You have the Awesome Planet movie that's over in the Land Pavilion. Um, and of course, we're all excited about Remy's adventure, great Remy Ratatouille's adventure that's coming soon, sometime this year. I want to talk about Ratatouille for sure. This is just a personal question. As an adult, Epcot is one of my favorites because of that unique um, atmosphere of food and drink and culture. Is Epcot trying to make it a more family friendly one? And what would you say to those adults who might like Epcot because it is uh, more geared towards adults or what, what is Epcot looking for in that sense? I think Epcot is one of those unique places that actually has a little bit for everybody. So we are definitely family friendly. We have fun things that you can do with your family like we talked about for this particular festival. You have the paint by um, number mural. This is a great thing that families can do together. Um, and feel like you're leaving a little bit of legacy here as you think about it. Um, we have the different foods. Um, that um, parents and adults alike and different wines. So I, what I love about Epcot is that it has a little bit of everything. If you think about the chalk war that we have that's out there, there's always something you can do. If you're a shopper, we have fabulous merchandise and it being our fifth anniversary this year, um, we've highlighted that. Um, Figment is our host this year and you'll see him out there on canvas, anywhere from that to spirit shirts or baseball caps. But I do believe that we offer a wide variety of things for every ages of every type of guest that wants to visit. Is um, bringing in the Beauty and the Beast thing along and the Remy's Ratatouille adventure into the World Showcase a way to make it more geared towards children in the back part of the park there? Um, I would say it's just the gear to not just children, but we feel that there are children of all ages. So yes, yeah, family friendly um, for no matter if you're small, or older, but we just want to make sure that you have a wide variety of experiences that you can enjoy and make sure everyone feels like they're a part of the experience. So let's talk about Ratatouille, Remy's Ratatouille adventure. What is this ride going to be like? I mean, uh, are there going to be drops? I mean, what can you tell us about this ride? Well, you know, we're going to probably want to keep that a little bit of surprise. <laughs> so stay tuned and, <laughs> and we'll be able to share something with you pretty soon. My understanding is we have a version of this at Disneyland Paris. Is that right? That is correct, we do. And would it seem similar to that? Yes, it will be. Okay, I know you're holding back. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, but would it be uh, acceptable for all ages? I guess you would say even the younger ones, it'll be a fun, safe ride. How would you explain it in that sense? Yes, it would be for all um, ages and all families can come together and experience that. And guess what? I have a little surprise for you. I have a friend that wants to say hello. Is he here? Yes, he is, Donald. Oh, <laughs> oh, wonderful. He's he has his little um, painter's apron on. How appropriate. <laughs> I love that. That's wonderful. Hello, Donald. So what's Donald up to in the park these days? Well, Donald's making sure that everyone has a great time and letting them know that it's great for them to experience their artistic side of themselves. Oh, that is awesome. Hello, Donald. Thank you so much. Um, Kartika, I do have one more question about um, the Harmonious Fireworks Show, and then we can wrap up here if you don't mind that. Sounds good. Um, is there anything that you can tell us about the new nighttime spectacular Harmonious? We see the barges out there. We know fireworks aren't happening right now, but what can you tell us about this show? Well, what I can tell you is that it's going to be fabulous, and we're working really hard to get the show ready to go, and you're going to have to stay tuned for it, but I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Can you tell us anything about what those barges do or what they what that will look like? Now, why would I want to spoil the fun for you? <laughs> I got to ask. And any timeline on when we can see fireworks show again? I know that that's one thing that people are, a lot of people are wondering about. We're seeing other theme parks doing that. Is there any timeline that Epcot's looking at? Uh, at? Right now, we're not able to share a time frame. Okay, but the show, is it ready to go, though? So when that is available, we'll have a brand new show? Or is it still in the works? It's still in the works. This is our fifth year anniversary. So proud of this festival. And we hope that you come out and visit us. Lots to see, lots to do. Whether, again, you're into the culinary, whether you're into art, um, seeing the different. We have over 100 artists that will be here. Whether you're into collectibles, there's plenty of fun things to do. So I hope that you can come join us very soon. I'm coming back for that cookie. 
parts. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.